Sense of Humor Defensive Driving presents New Texas Driving Safety Laws for 2014. For those who don't know, Texas has new driving safety laws for 2014. These laws actually went into effect last year in September, but we had a grace period through January. These new laws are important for everyone to know. Many fines and penalties have been increased for traffic and moving violations targeting driving in a school zone, passing a stopped school bus, passing Texas Department of Transportation workers on roads and highways, and for fleeing the scene of an accident. These changes have been made to help make Texas roads a safer place. Police across Texas have noticed a trend. Drivers who are in an accident involving an injury or death are fleeing the scene before police officers arrive. In many cases, the driver had been drinking. They flee the scene because the penalty for hit and run is less severe than driving while intoxicated. This is no longer the case and now the law has changed. Now the penalty will carry the same weight as intoxicated manslaughter for leaving the scene of an accident that involves an injury or death. This means a hit and run could result in 2 to 20 years in prison and a fine up to $10,000. Police hope that these new fine increases and penalties remind people that helping the injured moments after an accident can be very critical. The biggest impact is expected to help pedestrians who have been hit by a motorist. Cell phone usage while in a school zone has been banned for some time now. This law does not apply if the vehicle is stopped, the driver is using a hands-free device, or emergency phone calls. No cell phone usage while driving in a school zone has now been extended to all of school property. This would include anywhere on school ground, such as parking lots and pick-up and drop-off zones. This was put in place to help parents and students that would otherwise be distracted while driving in and around a school, not just in the school zone itself. Those who fail to abide by this law face a $200 fine. The fine for passing a stopped school bus with kids getting on and off the bus has also been increased. The fine used to range from $200 to $1,000. Now the fine will be from $500 to $1,250. In addition to stop signs and red flashing lights, many school buses are being equipped with cameras to catch people who pass when they shouldn't. A fine of $300 will be mailed to the owner of the car that is captured on camera. Although if an officer catches you and pulls you over for the offense, the higher penalties will apply. By now, Texas drivers should become accustomed with slowing down and changing lanes for police vehicles, fire trucks, and ambulances. The same idea will now be applied towards tech stop vehicles that are stopped and have flashing blue or amber lights. Just like emergency vehicles, you must change lanes to move from the closest lane to them, or you must slow down 20 miles per hour under the posted speed limit when passing. This is to help ensure the safety of tech stop workers while on the roads and freeways. Those who violate this law can be fined up to $200. It is important to keep up and follow these new Texas driving safety laws. These new laws and changes for hit and run, school zones and buses, as well as tech stop vehicles have been put in place to help make Texas roads a safer place. Thank you for listening to A Sense of Humor in Driving.com. For more information on this and other defensive driving subjects, please visit us at A Sense of Humor in Driving.com slash blog.